So you will ask, devolution of power, isn't it at the center and the spine of the issues of true federalism and restructuring that we've always been talking about? Well, it uh, got uh, a huge blow at the National Assembly being sold through. But at the State Houses of Assemblies, they really gave it a thumbs up and believe that that should happen. But again, it's a matter of our style of federalism in Nigeria, where grassroots government is opposed to be given a life of its own. But when the State Houses of Assembly voted for devolution of power, they are saying that local government autonomy may not go through. And it becomes an irony. So what kind of federal state should we be practicing? Let's get back to the conversation now. I have the national chairman of PPA, Chief Peter Ame in our Abuja studio, and a delegate to the National Confab in 2014, Mr. Yinka Odumakin. Both of them are making sense of where we are and where we need to be in the light of the amendment to the Nigerian constitution. Let's get back to it. And let me perhaps quickly go to Chief Ame in Abuja. As it stands right now, where do we go from here? Do you think the issues of devolution of power will stay through? Because it does need the, uh, the vote of the National Assembly, isn't it? Yeah. I think it is scale through because if you listen to the Senate President and the Speaker, they were hopefully disappointed with the actions of the um, uh, members of the both chambers. Uh, for, for, for us, just like you said, if you say that local government autonomy will not scale through, it's a matter of semantics or, or irony of a sort, because local government there is also a tier of government, which will be given its own authority to run. Because if, if the state assemblies are, are, are giving a um, nod to devolution of power, they should also be able to give nod to local government autonomy. When the abolition of local government and state government joint account will be taken off the table so that local government can operate privately as another tier of government. But for the National Assembly, they have seen that this is where Nigeria wants to go. We must develop this process and grow, and grow the process in a way that it will help our system to function well. We, we, we have overburdened the national, uh, national and federal um, uh, system with, with over 68 things that are on the um, uh, exclusive legislative list that are supposed to be there. Like if you go to Nasara, you go to Kogi, there are a lot of things the state government should be doing to be able to empower their state and generate more internal, in, internal revenue. But they can't do that because ordinary mining, geological survey and all that are in the exclusive uh, leg, legislative list. So we, 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 there's need for these things to be restructured. There's need for Nigeria to be renegotiated and redesigned to be able to meet the challenges of the 21st century. Okay. So, so, so we, we, I believe National Assembly will still reason with this and then pass it as we go on. Do, does this answer, because you're one of those who have always clamored for Nigeria to sit down and renegotiate the, 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 this the entity, but does it satisfy you, for example, if the power is devolved in this amendment process? Well, it's a step forward, no doubt. But that does not take care of the whole question of restructuring as a health government. And let me correct this impression. This question of local government autonomy, we have to understand it clearly. Local government in any federal system is not a tier of government. There are only, when you talk of federalism, you have two tiers of government, the central government and the federal units. In fact, 2014, our resolution was that we should delist the local government from the constitution. That each state, each federal unit should be at liberty to determine the number of local government that they want, the administration, all we say is that they must be run democratically. But, uh, but, what, but, what, uh, but uh, for which say, template are you, will you be talking about? Because uh, it looks so much that we always talk about what fits Nigeria, but are we talking about the, the federal state as practiced in other yes. federal system in, of in, government? In, in, in which, which federal in, state? In, Amer in America. You have over 12,000 local governments. You are not listening to the Constitution of America. You cannot, you can only find, you cannot find this local government in the American Constitution. It's an abnormality. abnormality. 
But you know, the counties, that, counties in the United States yeah. have their own sheriffs. They, they have their own police system. They, 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 they have their own simple they structures. Know. Yes, and, and they, 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 they are so. In fact, the, the, the counties also conduct elections. They, they are the ones even administering the elections at the local level. 20, 2014, we said that the, those local governments should be run in democratic manners. But the federal government should have no business with local governments. This whole idea of federal government sharing money with local governments is an abnormal. abnormal. Look, what they are going to do now, when they are not telling you that I neck will come and conduct local government elections, it means that just like the state today have become appendages of the federal government, you know, we are now going to have more 774 plus 36 states under the federal government. It means that the federal government will run local government directly. No. The autonomy they are talking about, we don't need that autonomy. The, the local government should be at the behest of the federal units. An appendage of the state. Yes, they should deserve their number. They, they are all the administrators, not the federal government. The federal government is, has no duty. Uh, Lagos State says they have LCDAs. They yeah. added it. There was a very big legal battle yeah. between the federal and the, and the Lagos State at the time when uh, Bola Tinubu was governor of Lagos yeah. State. Uh, Austrian State now runs a parliamentary, uh, a parliamentary system yes. in, their, in their local government. Yes. Is that the kind of thing that uh, uh, sort of uh, there is no uniformity across the? There should be. There should be no. There should not be. And in fact, there was no uniformity in local government in this country until 1976, when we had the Dasuki panel. It was the Dasuki report that tried to give a uniform local government across the country. When is what was they call it? Local government. Why should I be that? What's a bigger business with local government? It should be the judiciary of each federal unit to determine. How they want to run their local government system. But what 2014 said that it must be democratically run. Mm. You see, I mean, uh, quickly, do you see this devolution of power selling through? Oh, you are, you are going to have a constant crisis. When, when the state said this, we want devolution, and one and one hundred senators that we have said that we don't want devolution, you are, going, you, are to, you are going to create a crisis. But that so that bill got what, a bloody nose in the House of Reps. What it means now, because today, the the only land that belongs to federal government in Nigeria is FCT. So if the states, the owners of the territory, they are saying this this we want our life run and governed. And those don't mind me, they are responding to their people, to the giants of their people. So for some people who are now in Abuja to so say that will not stand. You are going to create a crisis. All right, let me allow you, Ahmed, in 30 seconds, please. Where do you think urgently we must take these conversations to? Uh, in 30 seconds, please, Chivame. I, I, I really want to disagree with uh, Chief uh, Odumaki mm -hmm. over the issue of local government administration as it's run with America. Every politics in the world is local. You cannot continue to match American system of uh, operation with our own free system. The governors have not shown enough that they can be democratic in nature. From every state you have gone to, or should contact the local government election. APC won't throw right to something mm -hmm. council. Um, Kanu, contact the local government election. APC 144. Delta State, PDP conduct election. Mm -hmm. They won everything. That's you right. cannot run a local government that way. If the governors are shown maturity, that they can conduct election fairly, where people can participate, where the freedom and the right of Nigerians can be guaranteed, who right. would have accepted that there will not be need for that local government to make? We need for to us, now. there's need for us to continue to develop our democratic space as it's true to our people. All right. that's, we need the, to go now. that's the issue. The federal government has not shown a better thing than the governors. <laughs> we must leave it at that. So Chief, uh, uh, Chief uh, very interesting yes. uh, conversations, but we, we, we will extend that conversation perhaps yeah. on Sunday. Sure. Chief Peter Ahmed, National Chairman of PPA, many thanks for your time on the program tonight. Mr. Yinka Uduma King, it was a, a delegate at the 2014 conference. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time on the program. And that's our show for today. Many thanks for being part of it, wherever you may be watching. And that's it. It's a Friday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.